Domain driven design or DDD is a way of crafting software that puts the business domain at the heart of development. We shift our focus from the latest technology to the core business problem. We dive deep into the real world complexities capturing them in a language that both developers and business experts can understand. The foundation of DDD comes from Eric Evans who wrote a groundbreaking book called Domain Driven Design back in 2004-2005. In this book, he brought together the best practices of software development, introducing terms and concepts which we will understand in this and following videos. So, let's get started. According to Eric Evans, when developing software, our focus shouldn't primarily be on technology. Instead, the spotlight should be on the business problem the software is designing to solve. The domain. The domain is essentially the business problem. And this could be anything. Aviation, railways, banking, insurance, or even e-commerce. Now, when software engineers build solutions, they often start by thinking about writing code and deploying it to production. And this might result in executable files such as JAR or a ZIP, depending on whether you are using Node.js, Python, .NET, or Java. From there, the focus typically shifts to abstractions like objects or methods. Taking it a step further, you organize these into classes, guided by object-oriented principles, such as interfaces and inheritance. Building on this foundation, design patterns come into play, providing guidelines for structuring your code using OOPS principle and classes. The next step is breaking your code into modules, and with each module, you follow a specific design pattern. Beyond that, you have architectural layers, like MVC layers, services, controllers, or DAO layers, which all come together to form a typical project architecture. And by the way, if you would like to understand any of these topics, do check out my playlist where I break down each of these concepts in easy to understand way. Now, this project will likely be used as a service. And these services aim to solve broader business problems within a specific domain like e-commerce, insurance, or banking. And within each domain, you have smaller focused areas called subdomains. For example, in the e-commerce domain, subdomains could include the product domain, customer domain, or shipping domain. And this is where domain-driven design really shines. It's about viewing your software starting with that domain. And at the heart of DDD, there are two types of tools. Strategic tools help us understand the business itself. We use them to analyze the business domain, figure out the key players, and make sure everyone, from developers to business leaders, is on the same page. These tools also guide high-level design decisions, like how to break down the system into smaller, manageable parts. Tactical tools focus on how we actually write the code. They help us express the business logic in a way that's clear, concise, and understandable even to someone who doesn't know a single line of code. So the strategic aspect of DDD deals with answering the questions of what and why, what software we are building and why are we building it? The tactical part is all about how, how each component is implemented. Look, software engineering is not easy. To succeed, we are constantly learning, whether it's picking up new languages, diving into the latest technologies or staying on top of popular frameworks. But here is the thing. Mastering a new Java, Python, or JavaScript framework every week is not the hardest part. The real challenge is understanding and navigating new business domains. And that's where things get really interesting. Mastering them will make you a better architect, developer, or even manager. Essentially, DDD bridges the gap between the business world and the world of software. It won't magically teach you every Java or JavaScript library but it will make you a better software engineer by making it easier to understand the business problem and design solutions that truly meet its needs. So, if you're a developer like me, passionate about solving problems and building incredible software, DDD can help you level up your game. In DDD, we don't just write code. We deeply understand the business behind it. We learn how companies operate, their goals, and their strategies. So guys, I am planning to start a series of videos that will guide you step by step through the core concepts, from the very basics to the real world applications, all using DDD. Let me know in comments if you are interested and want to dive deeper into the world of DDD. Let's build amazing software together.